Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and we're going to talk about scissor over comb. I think this is a very important technique. A lot of you have been asking questions about it. So we're going to break down technique and also tools. So the first things first, the thing that I like to use the most on this is a six and a half inch scissor. Uh, we're using the Mizutani Blacksmith Fit. This is the FSE edition. Uh, but you can get it in all different colors and uh, you know, whatever your preference is. But a six and a half to seven inch scissor is what I recommend for scissor over comb. You could use a shorter scissor. I just think you're working too hard. So I'm gonna break down why um, and how it all works out. So the first thing that you wanna really focus on uh, is the technique. And the technique can be practiced without even using a head. I honestly recommend just sitting, watching TV and working on just moving that one blade. This technique is going to be used throughout haircutting in general, so you need to know it and you need to start it in beauty school because if you start cutting hair the wrong way, it's really hard to get out of that habit. So, um, so work on just moving that one blade with your scissor. Now, once you got that down, then you're going to add in your comb. So we're going to work through, and I'm not going to, we're not really worried about technically what this looks like. This is already pretty chopped up, this mannequin but it, it serves a purpose for today. So what we're gonna do, as we're scissor over combing, you want that one blade to move, let's see if I can show you better, there we go. So that one blade's gonna move, rest on the, on the comb, and the other blade is gonna move and open and close. So the reason we do that is because as the comb pulls the hair into the scissor, that scissor closes down and it keeps a nice steady line uh, that we create as we do our scissor over comb. So you really, you're focused on keeping that blade steady and working through the hair. Now, the next most important thing is how you place your comb in the haircut. How short do you want it? I personally, when we're going real short like this, I'll either rest my finger up against the head, depending on how long I want it to be. So I'll slide my finger up along the, the ridge of the head so I can kind of get a feel for how that head is moving. And then the second thing is, if I'm going really short, then I'll rest the bone of the comb, which is the back of the comb, against the head, and then just elevate the comb and turn the comb slightly out, which will help as I glide the comb through the hair. So those are really the most important things, but I think the one thing that you definitely need to focus on is getting it just to be that one blade moving. Because if we go in here, this is what I see a lot of people doing in, in classes that we teach. They grab a shorter scissor, uh, which is fine because it's your main workhorse scissor and you're always using it. But as you go through the hair, I see them poking at the hair like this, moving in and out. What that's gonna do is create too many steps uh, and not consistency within the haircut. And we all know we've talked about uh, the, the key to being a great hair cutter is consistency. And you can't be consistent if you're going through and just chomping at the hair. So make sure, get that technique down, try to get a longer scissor for your work uh, again, six and a half, seven inch. If you have small hands, maybe a six inch, but I wouldn't go any lower than that. Um, and work through and you can scissor over comb. So I hope these tips help you guys. Make, make sure you check us out, freesaloneducation.com, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.